Hey everyone, welcome back to White Sparrow Living, Luke 12, 6. This is Wendy. Today we're going to be doing five Dollar Tree DIYs for Valentine's Day. And to start with, we're going to use some red roses. This heart-shaped cardboard box that comes with a lid, but I used it in another DIY. And then our hot glue gun. And then we'll also use some black and white buffalo check ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby during Christmas time for $5. And the first thing we're gonna do is take off the flowers from the stems and hot glue those around the inside rim of the cardboard box. And you could add styrofoam to the box at the bottom and then just poke them into that. But I thought it would be easier just to hot glue them and once you get a whole bunch in there they're gonna hold each other up so until that time you're kind of fighting with them to stay upright and then I just glued onto the box and then when I had a rose next to it I would glue next to that so that they would hold on to each other and then as I moved toward the middle of the arrangement I made those roses a little taller so that it wouldn't just be completely flat I liked it the way it was because I think the box is really cute, but in order to go with the little vignette that we're making, I needed to add some buffalo check ribbon. So I just hot glued that all the way around and started and ended at the V of the heart and then just kind of pulled it pretty taut so that it would stay in place and not have any gaps. And then at the top, I wanted to cover the little bit that was peeking out because it was still pink. And so I took some black ribbon and rimmed that around all the way to the end as well. And I had a lot of questions asking about my finger protectors and the link that I had put in the description box in my other videos, those were sold out. So I found a new one. And so I will link that in this video. So here's how it turned out. And I think it's super sweet and it's gonna add to our little vignette that we're gonna put together one by one. And so while I'm thinking about it, I wanted you guys to maybe stop by to one of my friends' channel. Her name is Angela, and her channel's called Mimi Sparkles. And so if you could just give her a little love and support, she's just starting out and has some daily devotionals that she shares, but just let her know that I asked you to stop by and say hi. For our next project, we're gonna start out using three of these glass milk bottles, the small ones, and then one of these organizers, these are the plexiglass organizers, and then some hair rollers, and they have, they're like miniature noodles with wire inside of them, and then some of this black poly rope that can be found in the hardware section, some apple barrel real red gloss acrylic paint, and a black Sharpie paint pen, a package of these little red plastic hearts, some lamb's ear that I got from Walmart for $2 a bundle, some baby's breath from Dollar Tree. And the first thing we're gonna do is paint the inside of the acrylic tray using the Apple Barrel Real Red paint. And this took a few coats, but it's not really gonna show too much from the outside because we're gonna cover that. So I just made sure that I went all the way around and painted the tops just in case any of it was showing and the middles and the sides. So now I'm gonna take the poly rope and I started on what I decided would be the back and just hot glued that, wrapping it all the way around 
and then ending in the back as well. I kind of ran out of this. It took a whole pack, but I went back in with some rope that I had from Dollar Tree. And so it turned out super cute because it made like a little decorative trim. And then I took some of the smaller rope that has the wire inside, again from Dollar Tree, and used that for some cutesiness, but also to fill in any gap that was showing. This nautical rope is pretty thick, so I had to stick my scissors in between the strands and then cut two of them and then cut the last one. And then I just took my hot glue and met the two pieces together and made sure that those were tight and not moving. So now I'm going to take two of those rollers and I'm going to paint them black using my Apple Barrel black acrylic paint and I just gave it a quick coat. It covered really well actually but when I went to put them on it, it would come off kind of because it wasn't all the way dry so you'll have to touch that up in, in the end. So now I'm going to take my white chalk paint and paint my milk glasses and I found that using a pretty good brush always helps. I used to use the foam brushes from Dollar Tree but it gave it too much of a I don't know bumpy finish. So this is a paintbrush that I got from Walmart and for a whole pack I think there were like about 15 or 20 of them in the pack but it was about $20 for the set. But I recommend getting a good brush just to make your life a little bit easier. So now I'm taking some more of the black Apple Barrel acrylic paint and just, it was pretty dry on the brush, but I'm just kind of dry brushing it around the edges of the lip there. And then I took some and actually I got a fingerprint on it and I thought it looked really good so I went ahead and kind of distressed that and gave it a little rustic looking finish. So now I'm taking my plastic hearts and I just took some hot glue and placed one at the neck of each of the milk cart or milk jars and then I took my black sharpie pen and I wrote I and then in the middle one I wrote love and then the third one, it'll say you. And for this, just to make sure that it's kind of in the vicinity of being level, I just put them next to each other so that I could measure where to write my words. So then I took my rollers and I bent them to mimic the shape of a handle and then hot glue glued those to the edges or to the sides. You obviously won't be able to use this as actual handles because they won't stay on very well, but it's just more for looks, just to make it look like a cute little basket. So then I added some lamb's ear and baby's breath to each of the little milk bottles. And then I wanted to add a little more farmhouse look, so I took three cotton stems but I didn't have the stems so I just have the had the top part so I just took some empty rose stems and hot glued those to the bottom of the cotton pieces and then tucked those inside as well 
and then I took a black and white buffalo check bow and just tied it and then hot glued that to the front. And here it is. I think it's super cute and super farmhouse and it's a pretty cute transition if you're coming out of Valentine's Day and just going back into your regular decor. Everything that I make that has red involved is for my daughter. So I'm doing the pinks this year and she'll be doing the reds and then next year we might switch it up and she'll do the pink and I can do the red. For our next project, we're gonna be using one of these frames. It's a square kind this time with the glass and the writing on it. One of these wood Happy Valentine's Day hearts. Some Buffalo check scarf that I had left over from another project. And then some white cardstock, or you could use some of the foam core. Some black cardstock for the back. Some acetone and paper towels more of the real red apple barrel paint and so all i'm going to do is paint the front or actually the back of my heart because i had pink on the other side and this project would look super cute in pink but i was trying to stay in the reds because there were a lot of people that were asking for red valentine's day decor so i just squeezed out the paint onto the wood and then i gave it a couple of coats just to make sure that the words on the back would be completely covered and then i'm going to go back in with some black and i added a little bit of water so that it would hopefully help it blend a little bit better because i just want to give it some shadow kind of effect so i started light and then kept adding the black because you can you know just add more red to pull it down but I didn't want too much paint on there because this is really thin wood and it did warp a little bit because of the water but that's okay it just gave it more dimension so I just kept going in until it was blended and how I wanted it and it looked um, more three-dimensional While that was drying, I was going to get my background ready and so this scarf was in my scrap stash so it was very wrinkled and instead of getting out my iron, I just used my mom's flat iron and pulled out all of the wrinkles and this is a really easy way to do this like if you're using ribbon that's already been used for a package or anything that you want to straighten out, this is an easy way to do it. So now I'm putting on my gloves to save my nails and then I'm going to use my acetone and pour it directly onto the back. I put a little too much on it in this shot and actually ruined my frame, but thank goodness I buy two of everything at least from the Dollar Tree. So I had a backup ready to go. So I'm just gonna cut out my piece of cardstock and then cover it with my buffalo check scarf using hot glue and i actually used my flat iron again my mom's flat iron and pushed the sides down so that it would make a crease and it would have a nice edge that was nice and crisp
So now I'm going to hot glue my heart down to the backing. And isn't that pink pretty? <laughs> and then I'm going to put it into the frame. And then I'm going to put some black cardstock over the top of all of it so that it stays in place. And here it is. I love this. And it was super cute with the pink too, just FYI. But I do love the red as well. And it is standing on top of a little cake plate that I got from the Target dollar spot and that I used in another DIY. So this is a little milk jug that I made and completely lost the footage. But as you can see, all I did here was add the black rim at the top and then made another sweet bow. And then I had the wood hearts from Dollar Tree and the little stitching on the edges is already on there. And then I just took my white paint pen and made the XOXO. And I love how this turned out. It's so simple, but really cute. And it adds height to whatever vignette or area you want to add it to. This is another DIY project that I did. It was actually from last year and it's super simple. And all I did was make the little banners out of um, felt and then the hearts and balls in between are what I was going to make was just the little round puffy balls with the yarn and where you wrap it around either your hand or a piece of wood or something and make it into a ball and tie it in the middle. But the white ones, when I pulled the, it off of the um, wood, it looked like it was a heart. So I just went with it and left them as hearts. But I just thought this was cute and you guys might want to recreate this for a simple and easy um, garland. So for our final project, we're going to be using one of the wreath forms and some more of the Buffalo Check wired ribbon. And then I have this burlap that my friend Shauna had given me. And so we're gonna use that. And then more of the little plastic hearts. And then our glue gun, some chenille stems, and our scissors. And then a few hearts from those felt heart wreaths. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut a bunch of strips that are 13 inches long and so the easiest way to do this is to fold it over and over again and then every so often cut it off and then cut the ends apart so that you have all of your strips you'll need a total of 50 of these so you can do it all at once or just do it in like sets of 10 so I also found that when you're dovetailing the ends, I was only doing two at a time, but you can actually go as many as four at a time. And then when you fold them in half, that is eight pieces of fabric that you're going through. So once you get your strips ready, you're gonna feed it in through the first and second rung of the wreath form, and then just tie it in a knot. And then for each of those sections, I did 10 of the little strips. And there's a total of six of the sections, but we're only going to do five because we'll leave one of the sections open for the ginormous bow that we're going to make for the top. So then you're going to do the same thing with the burlap. This is a burlap ribbon that I'm not sure where she got it. I'll find out and I'll put it in the description box below. 
but she used it for table runners um, for a party that she had. So I'm just going to go through the first and second rung this time and then just tie it in a single knot um, because it's so bulky it, it's hard to tie in just one as it is. So after I did that I was going to add a little bit of color by using some of this Dollar Tree ribbon that has the X's and O's on it and so I just I didn't have a lot but I just spread them out about five or six inches apart so now after I've got that all ready it's time to do our bow and I found this in my Christmas ribbon and this is from Walmart and even though I'm not a big fan of glitter <laughs> not so much the glitter I love looking at glitter but it's the mess that it causes but I thought this was perfect to add to it and so I'm gonna make a really nice heavy bow um, and it's gonna have four loops on each side so I just did the fold over method and then folded it in half and then made little slits on the ends there and then used my chenille stem to pull it together and then I'm gonna put this one aside after I fluff, at it, fluff it out and then I'm gonna make a burlap bow and make it pretty hefty too but only doing three loops on each side and because that's gonna go in the back and it's such thick ribbon anyway, so it um, evens it out. But then on the top, I'm gonna add a third bow, which will be in the Buffalo check ribbon that we've been using. And then after I put all of those together, I decided I didn't like the size of the Buffalo check one that I had made, so I made a larger one. So you'll see that at the end. So since there was glitter already in the bow, I used these felt hearts from the felt wreaths that we've used in different DIYs. And it has a little piece missing where it's ripped off of the wreath. So I just covered that with some of the burlap and ribbon and you don't even see it. So I just put hot glue and tucked it in there. And then I took those plastic hearts and I put one in the middle of my small bow, but that's gonna go bye bye uh, later and then I'm gonna add some directly onto some of the burlap areas and then just disperse that around the entire wreath and then I'm gonna go back in with the smaller uh, red glitter hearts that were on the wreath as well and I just pulled those off and tucked those in here and there so I know everybody doesn't have this burlap on hand, but you could totally use the burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Even the one with the lace in the middle would be super cute with this, I think. But I have to tell you guys, this video was the most challenging one I've ever done. Even my very first one was not as challenging. And my fruit of patience was being extremely exercised during all of this. My sweet hubby had gotten me a new camera and as you could see there was some lighting issues. I hope you didn't really notice too, uh, too bad, but um, it's been a major learning curve on how to use it and doing the editing and so forth. So I'm super glad that this is finally done. But I really want to give a shout out to all my girls who tried to help and were so sweet on a group that we have for other YouTubers. But Nicole, Heidi, Casey, Courtney, Natalie, 
Julie, Lisa, Yami, Kristen, and Kat. I appreciate your guys' cheerleading and help and suggestions. And so I'm going to put a link to all of their channels in the description box below. So go check them out. They are all the sweetest people you could ever meet. Don't forget to check out Mimi Sparkles as well. Just give her a hug. And I appreciate everybody for watching. I wasn't able to get my prayer post on here for all the prayers and I know that that's super super important so on my next video I will definitely have it on there but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your support we actually hit 40,000 subscribers and I am just so humbled and so blessed and thank you guys all so so much I hope everybody has a blessed day and remember to always be the light bye